Hello, welcome back. This is tutorial number four for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.7. And in the first few videos, we set up a bunch of AI traffic waypoint routes. We loaded some cars onto them. We connected the routes. We set up some traffic light signals to control the intersections where the routes met. And now we're gonna look at using some more powerful tools uh, specifically the spline route creator so that we could create multiple routes at once in a more procedural way. So this long road section here, we're going to create all four lanes of that road and uh, we're going to use the spline route creator tool to do that for us. So this tool is basically just a game object in the scene. It's a spline. It has an AI traffic waypoint route creator script attached to it, and we're going to use that in just a moment. And then it's going to have a bunch of child objects. So we're going to spawn points to the spline the same way that we do with a waypoint route. So I'll hold down shift and I'll click at the end of one of these road sections. And then I'll just keep clicking Basically, I'm trying to stay in the center of the road, and this tool is going to offset all of these procedural routes based on a value from the center. And again, if you want to, you can hold Control and Shift to insert a point, and Control Z will undo that. So we have full control Z and control Y for undo redo support. And let's just continue making this route. All right, so now we have our spline laid out. And if we expand this route creator, we can see the start control point and end control point objects. So these objects are just that, they're control points. So what you're going to want to do, depending on the orientation that you initially start with your spline, these objects might be in a different position. So we just want to kind of like pull them closer to the center and that affects the curvature of the spline. So I'm not going to make the spline perfect, but Ideally, you want to have all of these points right in the center. So for this demo scene, I'd, it would be between the two double yellow lines. So let's just pretend I did that. And then we'll zoom out. And we'll find the control point for the end of the spline. And we'll move that into a better position. And... Any of these points that are really bad, I'm just going to go ahead and fix. Okay, that's good enough. So now we have our spline laid out, and what we want to do here is select the number of routes that we want to create. In this case, we have a four-lane road, so we'll select four, and we'll hit refresh. And what we see here is that we have four routes that were created. And they're all stacked on top of each other in the center right now. And the frequency between the waypoints is, is pretty, it's pretty low. So what we want to do is we want to spawn more waypoints and we want to give them an offset. So we'll go back to the creator. And this is a, a fairly iterative process because it's procedurally generating these routes. So every time you change the values and you hit refresh, it will destroy the routes that are currently in the scene and create new routes for you. So I believe that the values we're looking for are three and eight, and then negative three and negative eight. So we'll offset each of these routes, route one will be offset by three on the x-axis, two will be offset by eight on the x-axis, and so on. 
So I'll hit refresh. Now we can see we have routes that are in a, a better position, but we need more waypoints because um, that just doesn't feel good enough. So I'm going to actually decrease this waypoint frequency to about 0 0.04 and I'll hit refresh. That's a little bit better, but I like the points to be closer together. So I'll go to 0 0.02 and hit refresh. And that actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So the final thing I want to do is kind of just get these endpoints into to a better position. So I'm going to pull this and spline point down a little bit. And if you're having a, a hard time procedurally, like pushing these final points into the right place, you can just manually position them. There's, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but this seemed to do the trick. And honestly, uh, it looks good enough. And this one over here, actually, these points all look pretty good, so I'm not going to mess with that endpoint. So I will um, I'll actually go ahead and just delete this route creator because we're done with it. We used it to generate our four new routes. Only problem is this route is pointing in the wrong direction, these other two on the right, so I'm going to select those routes and reverse the waypoints. And there we go. So there's probably a few too many points on this route, these routes actually, but I guess that's fine. So now I will go ahead and add some traffic to these. I'll put 10 cars on each route and I'm going to load up my route connector window, load the routes into it, and I'll connect these routes here. Now I could press play. And we could see that we have cars spawning on these routes and driving up and down the lanes. And when the cars reach this lane, they, they should just connect to the next waypoint route, and they do. And we could go ahead and set up traffic lights for this intersection, but I'm not going to take it that far. Um, we've already done that in a previous video. So that's how you use the Spline Route Creator tool. Thanks for checking this out. I'll see you in the next tutorial.